so 8.5 so still not too too bad and that's why I said we definitely want to make sure that those are successful because we burned about 300 million which is a pretty big chunk of what I currently had but at the very least this is going to give us quite a bit of money back as well Also, welcome back to Run Light Gaming again. So, yeah, the Mass Effect 4 game that we made is doing fairly well because we've already made it to 10 million sales. And this is helping us recoup some of the losses we made from trying to get everyone um, basically trained up in their new uh, positions. So, we have graphics, engine, and gameplay. So, at this point, we're going to try to train someone. So gameplay we already have, so story and quest will be the next person. We could do one more of these, which he is not able to do. Uh, let's focus more on world design. We're going to start another project here. Pretty much, yeah, basically you can just download things from Steam and buy it that way. MMO, these are going to be definitely a huge, huge, huge investment to make one. That's, it's going to give you a, um, depending on how well the MMO is doing, and not get it back, so. For now we're going to do the grid. And then I'll kind of give you an idea of what MMO is kind of like after we finish that one there. And from what I understand as well with the the game engines on here, you do want to actually make a new one for each time you actually um, make a AAA game. Otherwise, it's going to actually hurt your, your ratings quite a bit on it. It's going to have mono, soundtrack. I think those are the only two we can actually select on there, so. So, Ixian So let's take a look at our lab. I think it's pretty much still where we can just develop a console. So there are different um, systems that you can for design. So like let's say if you wanted to give it a particular variation. So, you know, you could have like an Xbox looking controller with, which really looks like, it kind of looks like several of them really, with a few modifications. This kind of looks like your, uh, one of your Xboxes that they came out with, but with a N64 layer. Call this the greatest system 
Yeah. Yeah, what's called accent. And these are the different features that you can include on it. Uh, so we're going to make it a scopic. So we're going to allow multiplayer video playback. Yeah. So basically, all the big things that will be useful. And see, as you can see, it's already a very, very matted. But since we did pretty good on this last game, a little bit of money on it. Because you do actually get sales from the system itself as well. But if we're going to make a game system, I was pretty much hoping to make sure we make a very good one. And then the grid is almost finished. And as uh, as I mentioned, rate money every month when you do so. And then before they leave, we're gonna try to train one of these other two into. Well, actually, see if we can do no. So don't really need a convention right now. So we have engine, gameplay, story, and game des uh, world design. So what we're gonna have to do is raise probably his uh, design a little bit further to 360. So let's do that. For him, it'll be the same thing. We need design higher. Alright, so we got him in there. Well, actually we need research. Alright, so there we go. So we can either do level design... Okay, so level design. And the only thing we'll have left at this point is him. So once we get him finish on it. Hopefully they'll all start getting tired pretty soon, so we'll just do some contract work in the meantime. And for research and development, let's go ahead and do MMR. Yeah, the MMO. Because we're probably going to make one more AAA game before we go to an MMO. Mostly just to kind of to support our uh, games itself. So let's go ahead and send everyone off. generate a game report.
parts to generate this, but this report is a little bit slow. Alright, so I think it's about time that we can start developing our new game. So, AAA game. Uh, I think the last one we did was a sci-fi, so we're probably not going to do a sci-fi this one. Let's go ahead and go with... Fallout 5. Let's say that we're going to the UK. So RPG and action. Drop it on that system, that system, that system. We'll do the 3.0. Uh, version 6. Alright, so since we have just about everyone focused at this point, so Brandon's on his engine, uh, Angel will be doing world design, so let's find gameplay. Oh yeah, so Angel's already in gameplay. Story and quest will go to Bill. And then engine will be with Brandon. So now we have Bill, Angel, and Brandon together. So Bill, Angel, and Brandon. Actually, that makes things easy. Yep, so we're going to go ahead and uh, announce our new game system. This basically just lets the world know that we're coming out with a big system pretty soon. We still have a little ways out. Yeah, so basically we're known for like Fallout 3, which at this point we're coming out with Fallout 5. And then we've revealed that we're making our own game console at this point. So. And we did invest quite a bit in it, so hopefully it'll be a, a huge hit for everybody. And we'll go ahead and hype the game further. And let's actually go ahead and do our marketing. So for this, I guess we didn't really actually get our artificial intelligence person yet, so um, let's go with Okay, yes, yeah, so Ethan should be there since he does level design. Graphics hasn't come up yet. since he doesn't actually have a specialty yet. 